Not sure if you've noticed, but the 2016 US presidential election is being held this year. And let's be honest, you definitely have noticed, the election is plastered absolutely everywhere. Whether you are closely following the election or are forced to see it every day in the news, you would have surely heard the words Republican, GOP, Grand Old Party, or the other major political party, the Democrats or the Democratic Party. Whether or not you live in the United States of America, or live outside it, you may not fully understand what the difference really is between the Republican and Democrat parties' ideologies and what they really stand for. The Republican and Democratic parties are currently the two most popular, powerful and prominent political parties in the United States. With the history of the Democratic Party starting in 1828, as anti-Federalist factions began to form, the Republican Party formed a few decades later in 1854, with the formation of the party based on stopping slavery, as they viewed it to be unconstitutional. At the most basic and plainest, politics is said to be split in half, with political parties either traditionally having left or right-wing political views. The left wing is usually associated with progressiveness, supporting those who aren't able to support themselves and believe in equality. On the other hand, the right wing values tradition, believes in equity, economic freedom, and that the everyday individual shouldn't really have to pay for someone else's health service or education through taxes for example, essentially a survival of the fittest society. On the political spectrum, the Democrats and Republicans tend to have opposing positions on matters such as the economy, society, military, and other key issues. Both political parties are so large now that it is quite hard to work out where their positions are on certain issues, but there are a few key issues where the opinions are quite apparent. But even then, candidates within the same political party can have slightly differing views on major issues which affect us all. Taxation when it comes to taxation and wages, the Republican Party believe that high taxes on the rich is a form of class warfare and that both the poor and the rich should receive tax cuts. As the Republican Party's plans would see the revenue which the federal government collects decrease, the results would be higher debt and deficits. By lowering the taxes for the upper class, these people are more likely to invest in businesses, which in turn creates jobs, making a trickle-down effect. Republicans also oppose raising the minimum wage as it believes it hurts small businesses who account for a large amount of employment for Americans. Democrats on the other hand believe in raising taxes for the upper class and lowering taxes for the middle and lower classes of society, allowing the government to boost their spendings on social programs for the lower class. Simply put, Republicans lower tax to benefit the wealthy and big businesses, whereas the Democrats support progressive taxes to help fund social programs and to help out lower income citizens. Gun laws. An issue which divides many Americans also divides Republicans and Democrats. Democrats favor more gun control, but recognize that the Second Amendment is an important part of American tradition and that the right to own and use firearms should be preserved. Reinstating the assault weapon ban and working to make the background check system stronger so that guns aren't getting into the hands of the irresponsible are high up the agenda for the Democrats. The Republicans, on the other hand, oppose gun control laws and go as far to say that they believe you should be able to obtain and store ammunition without registration and they support the right to self-defense. Voter ID laws. The Republican Party is currently pushing for elections to require photo identification for voting to, in their words, prevent election fraud. Between 2000 and 2012, there were 867 cases of voter fraud, but the Republicans want this to be zero. The Democrat Party are complete opposites on voter identification laws, saying that they believe everyone has the right to vote, making them in opposition of laws which begin to put restrictions on those trying to vote. According to the Democrats, introducing photo identification would affect young voters, people of color, low-income families, those with disabilities and the elderly, which is a large number of voters who wouldn't be able to vote and have their opinion heard. Pro-life versus choice. As I'm sure you can begin to tell, the Republican Party is very much influenced through religion and tradition, which would make it no surprise that they support the government restricting abortions. The Republicans believe that unborn children should have the fundamental right to live, which cannot be taken away from them. The Democrats, on the other hand, support Roe vs Wade and believe that a woman should have the right to make her own decisions about her pregnancy and that politicians and the government have no right to get involved with a woman's pregnancy. The Democrat Party also wants to help reduce the number of unwanted pregnancies through better sex education, which should then help decrease the need for abortions. STD rates are hitting all-time highs in the USA, so putting work into sex education is something which the Democrats believe will benefit society greatly. Same-sex marriages. Being very traditional and religious-based, the Republican Party wants to not recognize same-sex relationships, with the party aiming to constitutionally define marriage 
as one man and one woman. The Republicans also have the viewpoint that same-sex couples should not be able to adopt children. The Democrats oppose same-sex discrimination on the federal and state level and believe that same-sex couples should receive the same amount of respect and legal treatment as heterosexual couples. In fact, it was under the Democratic Obama administration that Section 3 of the Defense of Marriage Act, which defined marriage as a union between a man and a woman, was found to be unconstitutional, a decision which was ruled by the Supreme Court on June 26, 2013. Limit of Government Republicans have positioned themselves into believing that a smaller government is better, with Republicans preferring themselves to have less responsibilities in society, and that they should let people and companies fail or succeed based on their merits and actions, instead of the government intruding. The Republican Party don't like policies which essentially allow the government to have the power to pick and choose the winners and losers of the market, instead letting economies and businesses speak for themselves. The Democrats, on the other hand, believe that the federal government should have a strong role in helping Americans with the challenges they face, whether it be through regulating businesses, being more involved with health care, benefits, or other programs which help assist Americans in need. The sees Republicans usually call supporters of a small government and the Democrats supporters of a big government, although the Republican Party can sometimes have big government stances on some issues, such as abortion issues, but the Republican Party establishment tends to have small government viewpoints when it comes to economics and society. All in all, the Democrat and Republican parties are quite different when it comes to key points, but this is what happens when you find yourself in a two-party political system as it would not make sense for there to be two similar parties fighting for the same issues with the same stances. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to Cybright. I'm experimenting with introducing political science videos alongside my usual science videos in this channel, so if you have any feedback, it would be welcome in the comments below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.